let's look at properties of series. So suppose we have two infinite series, call them an and bn, and let's say that both of these are convergent. Then the following series also converge, and we're going to show what they're equal to. So for this first property, we have a constant times every single term in the series. And the first property says we can basically factor this constant out. So this is going to be equal to our constant C times the infinite sum of a n as n ranges from 1 to infinity. Okay. The second property basically says if you have two things, two general terms added together, and you take the infinite sum, we can split it. So we can split it so that you have the summation as n goes from 1 to infinity of a n plus the summation as n goes from 1 to infinity b n. I want to reiterate that it's important that both of these series converge. Okay, you need them to be convergent first. Let's take a look at this third property. So the third property basically says if you have a difference of two general terms within an infinite sum, we can split it as the sum of the first infinite series, a n, plus, I'm sorry, minus the infinite sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of b n. And again, I need to reiterate, we need each of these series to converge in order to allow this split to happen. Let's take a look at an example together. Let's take a look at example 13. So when I look at an example 13, I can see that I have a sum of two series. So I can really rewrite this as the sum as n goes from 1 to, oh, I see I have a typo here. This should be an infinity. Let's go from 1 to infinity, really 1 over 3 to the n plus 2 to the n over 3 to the n. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this. This will be the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. And I can rewrite that first part as 1 over 3 to the n power plus the infinite sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. And I'm going to have 2 over 3 to the n power. OK? Now, I could only really justify splitting these series if I knew that each of these two series converged. But in this case, I do, do know that they converge. How do I know that they converge? Because each of these series are geometric. This one's geometric, and this one is also geometric. Okay. And not only are they geometric, but the first series, R, is equal to 1 third, and that's less than 1. And for the second series, r is equal to 2 thirds, which is also less than 1. So why don't we calculate the sum of these two series here? So when I look at the sum of the first series, the first term, a, is going to be equal to 1 third, and the r is equal to 1 third. So this first series sums as, let me remind you, the geometric series, it's a over 1 minus r, right? So in this particular case, this is 1 third over 1 minus 1 third. And that denominator is going to be 1 third divided by 2 thirds. So somehow I've run out of room. Let me scroll a bit more here. So that's going to give us the end result of 1 half, since dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by a reciprocal. Let's look at the second one. For the second one, the a is equal to 2 thirds 
and the R is also equal to two thirds. So um, when I apply the formula for the geometric series, I'm going to get two thirds divided by one minus two thirds. This gives us two thirds over one third. Again, dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, so that's going to give me a total of two. So remember, I added these two series together, so let me put a plus, plus, and a plus there, and then that gives us two and a half or five halves if you wanted to write that as an improper fraction. All right, so to summarize, we used the uh, we used the second property of series. I had uh, the the inside here. I split it into a sum of two uh, general terms, and then I was able to split that into two the sum of two separate series. And I could justify that by showing that each of these two series converged. And in this special case of having a geometric series, I can even tell you what it converges to, and it converges to 5 halves. I want to reiterate that from this point on, we are not going to be able to see what our series sums to. We're only going to be able to tell if our series converges or diverges. Anyways, those lectures are for another day. All right, everyone. Take care.